What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? New month, you know what that means? Nudie magazine time! <laughs> That's right. Do you nerd for video games monthly? Or nudie magazines. Hey, nerdlings. Cam Nelder here. And you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube. Do you nerd? That's right, it is Video Games Monthly Time. There's a box inside this bag, and inside that box are retro games and maybe not so retro games. What you do is sign up for the service by picking from one of the tiers to decide how many games you want sent to you. You pick the consoles you want games for. You fill a list in of the games you already have to avoid some duplicates, and they will send you a box of goodies. And... You have to send them back, right? No. You no? You get to keep these. Oh my goodness! Forever. <gasps> Forever and ever. Forever and ever. <laughs> Who's that? That's Floyd. That's my boy, <laughs> Floyd. Something Lady Lacey likes to do is see if she can give me some hints to try to guess what we got. Oh, I know what this is. This is the part for J-Love. Bubble wrap. Boom, baby. Ooh, nice. A video games monthly pin. Hey, come on. You can never have too many pins. And just going to say, the coolest people have cool pins. It's not a Tony box. Ba-doop. Ba-doop. Ooh, a two-up. So we subscribe to the three-game box, but we've got two extras in here. So this is a little tiny cartridge. So something handheld, no it doubt. It is handheld. And it's gonna blow up. So Bomberman. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Yeah. <laughs> is it really Bobber Man? Yeah. That's the first thing I could think of when exploding. <laughs> okay, check this out. Bomberman Game Boy. Interestingly enough, he is uh, all decked out as Indiana Jones. Yeah. All righty. Well, the Bomberman games are always fun, especially when you have some buddies, which you could probably do, I'm guessing, with a link cable, but we will have to see. I'm very curious as to why Bomberman is Indiana Jones. Well, this next one is from a little island across the pond. Oh, is this where half of our retro refresh buddies are from? No, farther across the pond. Oh, farther. The other pond. The other pond. <laughs> so it must be Japanese. <laughs> yes, this has to do with a, a river in New York. <laughs> I don't know New York very well. <laughs> the Hudson. <laughs> oh, wait. Hudson Hawk? No. Oh. Hudson Soft? Yes. <laughs> that's the game company. That I know, that's all I can read on there. <laughs> I can't read anything else on there. <laughs> who? 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 It's an owl game. That's, that's Maybe that's what I should have gone with. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the uh, title is hidden in the... Oh my gosh, it is. I just now see that. ...label here. Raid on Bungling Bay. Who? 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 <laughs> she's she's hung up on it being an owl now, but it's not an owl game. You know anything about that? <laughs> uh, you know, I think that we actually did get this over here stateside, but, but I English? can't I can't remember if it had the same name though. I feel like it did. I'm thinking of all the shooter games. Staying on that island. <laughs> so we're still on Japan. Mm hmm. And it's a colored cartridge. Okay. And. Must be Famicom. Mm -hmm. They were the only ones that had the fun colored cartridges. They were. And we get to um, have some, some happy meals with this one. And thank you for such a happy meal. 
Oh, is this like McKids? I don't know. Again, <laughs> oh, I can't oh, read gosh. it. Oh gosh. But what's, what is what is that? That's like some kind of weird little fairy. Uh, it's like just a head, though. It's a head with big ears. Like a there's no fairy body. I'm guessing in the bushes, maybe those are supposed to be fry guys, but they kind of look more like rejected Pac-Man Well, ghosts. I can tell you, I do not like how Ronald is winking at me. <laughs> Come on. there's <laughs> that face. There's nothing creepy about Japanese Ronald McDonald. Seriously, though, what is up with those commercials? I don't know. They're weird. <laughs> So we're gonna stay on that island. <laughs> yeah, well, we got a Japanese box going, we I guess. We kinda did, yeah. And uh, what are their soldiers over there? A fortune. No. <laughs> what do you call their soldiers? Uh, samurai? Uh-huh. And what do you like to drink? Sake. Well, what are they, <laughs> Gen a general term? Tea? For sake. <laughs> Bartender! Yeah. <laughs> spirits! <laughs> Samurai spirits! <laughs> uh, woo! Right over my head. Obviously. That would have been good. So Samurai spirits, mm -hmm. or as it's known here, Samurai Showdown, a great, great fighting game. I loved playing this, especially in the arcades. Uh, my main, however you want to say his name, I don't think I'm going to get it right, but the dude with the hair, Haromaru. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, the last one, we're going to come back here to America. Freaking finally, geez. And, uh, it's a Sega game. Ooh, Sega Head's gonna be so I proud. Know. This is a Unless game... it's on a Nintendo system. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a game that I used to love to play, but I was terrible at it, so I just see how many windows I could break. Oh, is this Paperboy? Yeah. Once you said the <laughs> Windows thing, nice. I'll tell you what, I have played a fair share of Paperboy games. The arcade game, of course, on Nintendo, Super the Nintendo. The arcade game was fun because it had a little bicycle. Thing. But I have never played the version on Sega Genesis. Sweet, that'll be cool. I know. See if I'm just as terrible at that one. <laughs> I don't know why I love that game so freaking much, but I was so terrible at it. So I just went around to see how many windows I could break. I, I lost all my customers, but I had a lot of fun. I think most people got to the point where they would do that. <laughs> And well, like, who, you know, walks up and down a street, you know, carrying like windows, you know, glass. And... <laughs> I'm, I'm always curious about the guy just trying to get his pants on. I'm trying to get my pants on, but they're really freaking tight. Why I'm in the street, I haven't got a clue. Yeah, I thought he was just doing the bicycle. <laughs> This is a pretty good box. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Japanese game, but it's a fighter, so no problem playing that. Uh, new delve into Bomberman in archaeology, because who knew? Why he not? had such a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Raid on Bungling Bay. A brand new paper boy for us to try out. And a weird Japanese McDonald's game that's probably going to give you nightmares. Creep you out.
<laughs> I wish the evil cloud at the end of my bed would go away. <laughs> well, there you have it, nerdlings. Let us know any comments, any thoughts that you have of any of these games. Always love to hear from you guys. Not if enough colorful games. That's my that's my <laughs> takeaway. That's, that's true. We got one. That's why I love the Famicom games. I don't play them. I just collect them because they're pretty. <laughs> You're very precious to me. Feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Let us know what you got in your VGM. We love to see what everyone gets each month. It's always fun. The surprise. You never know what's in there. And don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell just in case we're back next month with another box. Spoilers. We will be. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to T Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. So, uh, who do you think? I don't even want it looking at me. I don't, I don't want it to look at me. Who do you think's going to get you first, the Paperboy or Ronald? Ronald. I don't like it. Help me, Floyd. Help me. <laughs>November right there, the big turkey right there. That's terrible.